Next up, we've got New Leaf for the 3DS. Yes, I skipped Amiibo Festival for the Wii U, since I don't even consider it a real Animal Crossing game. Although, if you do want to play it, use Simu. Anyways, New Leaf is undoubtedly one of the best 3DS games of all time, so you're going to want to be sure to play this game if you haven't already. The emulator I recommend for 3DS is Citra. It's a sleek yet simple emulator that is very similar to the Yuzu Switch emulator I mentioned earlier, and it's just as easy to set up. It also helps that 3DS games are generally much smaller and less demanding on your PC than Switch games are, so even people with lower end PCs can get in on the fun. On the other end, people with higher end PCs can even go into the settings and upscale things like filtering and resolution to make your game look amazing. This is a win-win emulator. Next, we've got Animal Crossing City Folk for the Wii. And to play this game, I would recommend using the Dolphin emulator. Dolphin is by far the most well-known emulator out there, and that's for a good reason. Not only does it play Wii games flawlessly, but GameCube ones too, and installing and setting up the emulator is quick and easy. Not to mention the fact that 94% of all Wii and GameCube games are fully playable on this emulator. If that's not impressive for an emulator, I don't know what is. Alright, now it's time for Wild World for the DS. Now the DS has been out for quite some time, which is actually a good thing for emulators since it gives them more time to develop and optimize for that system, which is why practically any DS game runs great on Desmoom emulator. It's got a little bit of an older interface compared to most emulators these days, but it's still really simple to set up and get into a game with. Now, last but not least, we've got the self-titled classic that started the entire Animal Crossing series for the GameCube. Just like City Folk, you're going to want to use Dolphin Emulator because it plays GameCube games as well as Wii games. Animal Crossing runs particularly well on Dolphin, and it's deemed fully playable on their official compatibility website. As far as acquiring your games goes, the only way you can legally play them on an emulator is by ripping or dumping them from your own personal collection. Do not resort to piracy. Although emulators may be legal, downloading these games is not, and I do not condone it. So, yeah, that's about it to this video. Make sure you check out the guides for these emulators down below to get you started playing. I hope you enjoyed, and if I did help you play your favorite Animal Crossing game, then please leave a like on this video and maybe even consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.